Hey guys, this is Karim Bidani from Mobi Scrub and here we have the Samsung Galaxy J2 Pro. And like all J series smartphones, the J2 Pro comes with Samsung's made in India features like the S Bike mode, the Ultra Data Saving mode, and the newest of the block, uh, Smart Glow notification LED system, and the Turbo Speed technology. The size of the device is quite apt, even for a single-handed use. The 5-inch display is most appropriate uh, convenient usage uh, without causing any issue. And the overall device also weighs quite low, making it really easy to handle the device. Now, the device is running uh, Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow, and you'd notice a new shortcut menu on the bottom edge of the screen that gives access to some nifty utility apps including a mirror uh, that turns on the front camera instantly for you to look at yourself. Now with Samsung's latest uh, touch with interface, the device seems to perform quite smoothly. Uh, the response to touch is flawless and screen transitions and animations seem to be pretty smooth too. Now, the device comes with Samsung's latest turbo speed technology that basically makes the device uh, launch native apps like phone dialer messages, internet camera and others 40% faster than devices with twice the RAM on this device. And that's being done intelligently managing the RAM and other services that you don't use too much. The J2 Pro features a 5-inch display with a resolution of 720 pixels by 1280 pixels. And you can see it for yourself how the colors and the, uh, the icons really pop out. However, the J2 Pro does not come with ambient sensor which means brightness cannot be managed automatically and you'd have to adjust the brightness uh, at your end by, you know, sliding the, the brightness controls. But just, just look at the screen, I mean, the colors are vibrant, they're rich, uh, and even the sharpness of the screen for a 720p display, I think it's pretty good and you would not be disappointed by even watching videos on this phone. The coolest feature with the J2 Pro is the notification LED at the back of the camera that notifies you the type of notification by the color you assign to it. So you can have a yellow color for an incoming SMS and a blue color for an incoming phone call or even a WhatsApp message. And it's all managed nicely through an app that you can use to assign apps the colors you want to pop when you get a notification. And you can also set up specific colors for uh, some system and data events like like when your battery is below a certain percentage or when you're about to consume all of your data, uh, you can pretty much use that. And there is selfie assist. So it, you know, when you're using the rear camera to take a selfie, it tells you when you're in the right picture. And of course, belonging to the J series of Samsung smartphones, the phone ships with S bike mode, which is a dedicated bike mode uh, that lets consumers ride tension free while encouraging responsible riding. Now the S bike modes urgent call alert system notifies the callers through an automated answering machine that the user is writing and is unavailable to take calls. However, the callers do have the option uh, to press press 1 in case the call is urgent. The J2 Pro comes with an 8 megapixel camera at the back and you can double tap the home button from any screen on the phone to quickly launch the camera. You can tap to focus and take photos instantly. Uh, the shutter is fast and once the focus is locked, uh, there is no lag whatsoever while clicking pictures. The device can shoot only 720p videos and not Full HD videos, but that's acceptable given the price range and other features that are being offered at this price point. Overall, I think the J2 and the J2 Pro are offering a plethora of features and in fact new features that have not in even been introduced uh, to the market on other smartphone manufacturers at a decent price point. Um, so really, I mean, uh, the J2 Pro definitely makes for a decent entry-level or mid-entry-level smartphone for a user that is looking to do everything with their smartphone, right from music and video watching to using multiple apps and internet surfing.